بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله يا الله زل جل give us a life in which to see the holy month of Ramadan and that Allah Zal Jal dress the servant with an immense mercy which allows them the ability to fast. Put your head down, why? Because your nazar bar qadam, why put your head down? Keep your eyes on your feet, means these are for instructions for the turuqs that your students who have been taught don't look left and right. Don't try to analyze with your head, your head doesn't have the capacity of their heart. That just look down, follow their guidance and go into that fire. And that's the example that they taught from Mawlana Sharafuddin. You're surrounded by you know thousands of people but they're not going to believe, they're going to get everybody killed because they don't believe. So he said, oh the enemies are attacking Mawlana, what are we going to do? He said, plant your seeds. Oh, this Mawlana he lost his mind stuff a lot, let's get out of here, he doesn't know what he's doing. That was good, let them leave because they didn't believe anyways and they're going to get everybody hurt with their disbelief by yelling and screaming and arguing the whole time. So when people leave, it's not your business, it's actually a, a ni'mat from Allah because last thing you need in time of difficulty screaming, yelling, doubting people who only want to make problems for you. So they left. When they all left they said, Muhammad what do we do? He said, keep planting. Now that you're planting come here. He brought water for the community and began to recite from Surat Al Yaseen upon that water, drink from this water, we're going to walk now. They walked off from, from the, the Caucasus all the way to Rashidiyah in Turkey where we went to visit and they said that the Kozak's armies were shooting left and right, left and right, anything in the, in the forest they, they were shooting. If a bird moved, if a squirrel moved, anything that moved they were shooting. And Mawlana Sharafuddin Sultan and Awliya walked with his people through all the brushes and everything, not a single word from their mouth but they were making footsteps I'm sure everybody could hear but Allah didn't want them to hear because Allah wrote the program. So with their yaqeen and their certainty and their belief in the way they didn't question, they didn't ask, they just believed. That level of belief they walk safe, not one person shot, not one person harmed. It's not a time for fighting if anyone's listening and say, oh are these people gonna fight? No, the people who fight let them kill each other. This is about not being visible, not being in, involved with dajjal and the fitna of what dajjal is bringing upon the earth. But to lose your visibility to the inhabitants of earth require an extreme amount of faith in which what you recite has a power, in which what you recite veils you from their satanic plan and their satanic ordinance and coordinates. Not to use your head, so inshaAllah Allah dress us and bless us from the reality of this holy hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad as a safety for us. That every fire that presented by the Dajjal system know that there's a paradise in that reality and not to be feared. But it requires a strength within the heart not to question, not to let your mind enter into its fear and even to drink and to taste from its fear because once the fear comes in it's a poison that can never be taken out. So anyone who thinks that they can deal with a little bit of the fear I just want to know you're wrong, you don't understand what shaykhs are teaching. If you taste from the fear you can't take it out of you. So you imagine like it's an ifrit because everyone needs like an example, I don't know what you're talking about. Imagine like you put a little devil, he's a fear, you say, I'm just going to bite this devil's foot. Uh, well now he's in you and he re replicates and multiplies himself within you. So what Allah said for those whom believe and whom are in… have a love and proximity neither they fear nor grieve. Why no fear nor grief? Alhamdulillah, Subhanahu wa bi rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al-mursaleen.
Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri Surat al-Fatiha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.